Good morning, guys. This is Sam with Scrappy Industries. Got an exciting day ahead of us and the big old super dog. Just gonna get the hood flopped open here and let's check the oil, get her checked out. Matt and I are headed out to the National Pike Steam Gas and Horse Association. We're going out there to pick up my cousin's Bay City shovel. This machine has a Cat D4600 engine that's got a rod knock going on. That's why we pulled the engine out of the number 12 Cat Grader as our donor. Going to bring the Bay City home so we have our tools and equipment here to work on. It'll be much easier than driving back and forth up to the show a, lot, a bunch of times. So we're going to go get that, bring it back, and get our next plan of attack figured out. So come on for a ride with us. Cold start time. Nothing to an E9 cold start. Nailed it. You guys got to give a lot of thumbs up and that 25G down there might get fixed. You got to really bug the guy. I've been working on him. We're going to fix that scrap? Which scrap? All the scrap. All of it, yeah. Fancy camera riggings down here at Scrappy <laughs> Industries. <laughs> Morning, bud. Morning, bud. So we're on our way to do a shovel recovery mission, the Knock Knocky Bay City. I decided it would be much easier to work on here at home. So we're off in Superdog and the Talbert and we're going to go get her. Well, when they don't have truck pumps, make truck pumps. You got two pumps. Just tell me what you need. I don't know. This is some footage you know. the truck of the head, I'm like, that's not good. Yeah. That's well, I noticed his turn signal about the time that he yeah. started throwing his hand out the window. And I was like, oh, I couldn't get over. There was a car there. Yeah. Ultimately, that was his fault. Yeah. Did you see the Johnny Gradle that he almost hit, though? <laughs> it was the Johnny Gradle. Like, it wasn't that for uh, but I mean, it was the exact same model. I was like, oh, look. Discount. Oh god. Gotta get your heart going. L I V I N. <laughs> it's almost about crazy. Almost. Supposed to get up to like 57 today, but yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. I think it's our last nice day for a little while. That's kinda why I wanted to get this moving. snow or something start working on the boiler pad, you know? Is this in there about air on cabin then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's deleted. CR? There you go, bitch. Good.
it kind of centered itself. You can use a uh, stabilization and probably keep it framed right. Right. Crop in a little. gate attendant. We gotta get something better than this Benoist parker down here. Yeah, I don't understand why that's the thing. That link belt would look good down here. Neighbors would love it. Let's go see if we can cold start a shovel. Poor little pony motor is not happy. We might have to pull the top of the bowl off and do a little cleaning, but we shall see. Give a little tappy, tap tap taparoo. Oh, the door's off the truck. Yeah, I think it's back on. Let's see if we got any battery juice. to unwind. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll fix that. It's for quick removal so you can put it in the 15B and start that too.
Ooh. If that was water, you better off just pull the plugs out, because that's what happened to my D8 last time. Oh, it'll fail, bud. It's no good. No good carburetor. I like the zoom feature, you can just push the button there, that's nice. I haven't really played with that yet. I was standing here doing nothing, you probably could have just Bye. told me to shut that off. Sorry. Hey, we, we lost some fuel pressure. Hey, we lost some oil pressure. Heard ya. <laughs> Dry as a popcorn fart in there. Well, oh, you know what, the needle is stuck. That'll do her every time. We're truck driver and, and other than the needle broke free. We're truck driver and, and carburetor cleaning, tearing apart in the day. This flow in there. You want to crack a gas open, Matt, and see if it runs out of the line here? Ain't got no gas in it. Uh oh. I'll do the Gino routine. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Wait, <laughs> she's a squirter. She is clean now. <laughs> we're hooked back up and we're gonna try it. Do we have any gas? Sounded more promising there. Oh. Does not like that. Yeah, I don't think it's a lack of fuel. I think it's, I don't know. Maybe the old spark plug needs a little cleaning, like you said. Well, after running like that, I would think it's probably clean, but I don't know. If it's water fouling Will it Will these up. spark plug wrenches get it out of there? That'll slow you down. If only we had a little torch. Sam's using that can of ether like we got more. <laughs> There's one spent can in the neck of the trailer. And one can of that got us home with the T-Rex. Yeah, that was another one you were crazy for not taking more on. Round 10. Acts like it's almost running out of gas. Surely beating on it will fix it.
I don't understand. Is one of these like not making contact? Probably that's that side. It's like it was super happy for a second. Yeah, hold on, don't crank it. I think that side's fine. <laughs> It's, it's the exact same thing that my Lorraine does. It only runs on one cylinder and then all of a sudden it'll pick up two and you gotta hurry up and get it started. Now we've got the Bay City fired up, we're going to fire the Mac back up, drop the trailer and detach and get her loaded up. Yeah. And we probably need these for the shovel. Oh, okay. We're gonna leave all this here for the landscapers. I don't think I have my shovel in the neck is normally there.
have that block under it. Check all our binders, we'll be ready to hit the road. I think that's the uh, stainless potentially on the headache rack. We'll have that on these bigger jobs.
got to help a guy out to get the shot once in a while. us another gear here. Splitter's been being a little weird, so I'm mostly driving to like a nine speed right now. With the V8, it really doesn't matter too much. You have such a big power band. Mine is pretty up here. 
or all these hills will spill us. You're missing your chromium plated, fully illuminated, genuine accessory shift knob. Pretty much just your plain Jane Mack shift knob here. That to me is where it's impressive. Like 1500 RPM, you can just let her go. Yeah, she loves her. Yeah. You got to be careful with it though, or the transmission won't be so happy with you, I don't think. Because there's no torque limiting. Uh, We made her back home. Very nice. Let's get her unchained and unloaded. No, no issues were had on the way home. Everything went well. Yeah, we Chains to stay in there, huh? Yeah, take
Well, if I wasn't a dingus and miss hit the record button, I would have an outro. So instead you get this outro. Matt and I successfully got the Bay City home, got it unloaded, parked over there, everything went well, went as planned. Next up, we're gonna have to tear the doors off, get the sheet metal out of the way, pull the engine, gearbox, all that's gonna come out. Then we can bring the engine from the Bay City, the new donor engine from the grader, bring them both into the shop, get them kind of set side by side. I'm not sure what little parts pieces are gonna be transferred from engine to engine to make it all work out in the shovel application. But we'll get that figured out, get her all put back together, give it a quick clean up paint job and clean up the Bay City as well get her put back together. So thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. We do for video. Hi, Big John. Hi, Sam. I don't know who's editing this. We'll catch you on the next one. It's been fun.